Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula, and me and my husband both live a keto lifestyle. We just got done filming a whole weekend while we were away of videos where he was with me and sadly are back home and he is back to work and back to business as normal. So today is March 9th. This is the ninth day of our fitness challenge. I wanna know how you're doing in this challenge. A lot of people are doing this challenge with me Basically, we're just getting up and moving and going for walks and doing whatever we can to get some activity back into our lives. So a lot of people are commenting and letting me know that they are walking and that they are going swimming and all different kinds of activity and it's just great to get moving. It feels so good. So today I am going to be filming what I eat throughout the day and also my activity it is a nice sunny day here and it's so funny because we just came back from a lot of snow just three hours away so it is just basically no snow so I'm gonna be back to walking today in the neighborhood before Ed left for work today we had a cup of black coffee and right now I'm having my electrolytes this is the element watermelon salt so I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and get ready to go out for my walk here in just a little bit and when I do, I'll let you know how long I walk for. And I hope you get moving today too as well. All right, I'll see you soon. So I am out for my walk and there is no snow on the ground, but it is cold out. And I didn't dress as warm as I should have. I wore a lighter coat today. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break my walk up. I'm gonna walk for a little bit now. And then later on, when I get home from work, I'm gonna see if he wants to go out for a walk and walk another walk because you don't just have to get all of your exercise in at one time. You can break it up. And if you can only go 10, 15 minutes at a time, go 10, 15 minutes, and then maybe later in the day, take another 10 minute walk. It doesn't always have to be done all at once. Even if you're on lunch at work and you wanna get out and take a 10 minute walk, take a 10 minute walk, and then later on, go for a little bit longer walk. By the way, if you are looking for a good pair of tennis shoes, I just got a good pair of tennis shoes from a company called Fitville and I'll show you my shoes in a minute. They're really cute, but they are shoes that specialize in foot problems. I have had foot problems over the years. I had plantar fasciitis. I don't have it anymore. I did have some heel problems too and I also had tendonitis in my uh, back tendon. I think it's Achilles tendon. I've had to walk around with a brace on my foot. I've showed you pictures before of the brace that I used to have to wear. Now I'm a firm believer that it is so important to take care of your feet. I got these shoes and they have a really thick sole and they're very comfortable. This is the first time I'm wearing them to walk in and they feel very, they feel great. But they specialize in like problems with like flat feet and plantar fasciitis, bunions, they have a wide toe box, they have wide sizes. So Fitville actually, my hair is crazy right now, Fitville shared a link with me that if you go down in the description, I'll also put it over on my website lowcarbrevelation.com and you click on the link, you can save $20 on a pair of shoes. They have a great selection, a lot of cute shoes. I know sometimes when you buy shoes for special foot problems, they're not the cutest, but I'm gonna show you mine right now. They're super cute, hold on. Look how cute these are. Look at these sole models. And they're really cute actually. I really like how they look. I like the purple. If we are taking care of our bodies with our food and we are getting active and working out, we also need to consider our feet. So make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes when you're out walking and I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, so I am going to be making some French eggs for breakfast. These are baked French eggs. They are delicious. They're one of my favorite ways to eat eggs. I don't know why I don't make them more often, but I have showed this a couple times already in my videos, but I have new people that are watching and so I just wanted to show again. So I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. 
You're probably going to hear it beep a couple of times. And back here in the back, I just have some boiled eggs going. I'm making some uh, boiled eggs to keep in the refrigerator as a meal prep. And this is my cute little egg maker here. This is a muffin tin that I have sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. And all you do, this is super easy, is you are going to crack an egg into each muffin tin and I got a shell in there. Today I am making eight of these and so I'm just going to be cracking eight eggs into each muffin tin that I had sprayed. So again these are super easy to make but they are so good. These would be really good if you're having a big brunch and you need a way to make eggs you can make a bunch in some muffin tins all at one time this is heavy cream and I am just gonna put about a teaspoon I'm just eyeballing it today into each cup just pour it right in this is very important to have in this recipe because it just makes them super creamy and so I wouldn't skip the heavy cream. Now I'm gonna put some salt on these eggs. I have some Redmond salt, the only salt that I use. And I am just going to sprinkle a little bit onto each egg. I don't put pepper on these, but you can put pepper on these if you like. And then I have some Gouda cheese here. You can use any kind of cheese for this recipe but Gouda is my favorite on this recipe. And so I am going to put a little bit on top of each egg. So this is going to go in the oven just like this at 375. Now, I like my yolk to be firm. I don't like a runny yolk. So I usually put mine in the oven. I have a convection oven, so my oven cooks a lot faster than an oven that is not a convection oven. So you have to take that, keep that in mind when you're making this recipe. So my oven is usually about 20 to 22 minutes right in there. I pull them out and I have a nice firm yolk. If you like a runnier yolk or a softer yolk, you're gonna have to just work with the amount of time that you need. I will show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. And for those of you who have the Z-Star Air Grill, I have quite a few of you now that have this and you've asked me to do more uh, recipes using this. I make my bacon in this. It's so easy to make the bacon. And so the bacon's already in here on the little grill tray. And I just hit the power button. And for bacon, um it's at 380 degrees i have found that i like it right around 11 minutes depending on how uh thick or thin the bacon is 11 minutes seems to be the sweet spot for the way i like my bacon i like my bacon crispy but not burnt so i'll show you what it looks like in 11 minutes timer just went off. I forgot to mention that halfway through when this is uh, cooking, you will hear a beep sound. That is for you to flip your bacon or your steak or whatever you have in here over. Just like a regular grill, you're going to flip it over. And so this is what the bacon looks like after 11 minutes. That is perfectly cooked bacon in my opinion. So I am going to get these out and I'm going to save my bacon grease. Underneath here, if you lift this up once it cools, you'll see there's a lot of bacon grease that comes, it drips down. So I keep all of my bacon grease for cooking. And so I'll be saving that, but I'm gonna pull these out and my eggs are almost ready. So I'm gonna get them out of the oven in just a minute and I'll show you what my breakfast looks it like. just a few minutes before noon and this is my first meal. I am having the baked French eggs and I will cut them in half and show you what they look like on the inside. And then I'm also having some bacon and let's see if I can show you here. This is pretty hot, but you can see here that my, my yolk is firm there. And I am also having a cup of Nespresso coffee. I have a little bit of heavy cream in here. This is the Malazio, uh, Nespresso pod and I also have some of this English toffee drops in there. It, this is one of my favorites by the way of the stevia drops and so 
This is my first meal. I will see you in just a little bit. So I'm getting ready to grill a steak on my Z-Star Air Grill. I've had some requests on showing more recipes on my Z-Star. And so this is how I like to make my steaks. It's very quick and it works very well. All I do is I turn on the grill option and it's set for 450 degrees. It's a high heat. Six minutes is not enough time for my steaks. I usually put mine for around 11 or 12 minutes, depending on how thick or thin the steak is. So I'm going to start it at 12. I like my steak to be medium. So we will check it in just a little bit. We'll beep halfway through, so it will need to be flipped over. So I'll be back. Okay, so we just beeped. We are halfway through the 12 minutes and I am gonna flip this steak over and let it continue cooking. You don't have to do anything but lift the lid, flip it, and then close the lid and then it starts back it's up. Five o'clock and it's dinner time and we are having steak tonight. I have the New York strip steak here on top of Caesar salad with my homemade Caesar dressing and this to me is just the perfect meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and I will see you after to wrap up the video. See you so soon. I'm gonna make a little after dinner treat. I've made this many times before on my channel. I'm going to take a Zevia creamy root beer and pour this into this glass. We just got a soft nugget ice maker and the brand is Friesemer. And I will put the link down below. It's a very nice ice machine. Friesemer was very kind to send it to me. And I am gonna be putting together a video on summer drinks. We do some different drinks in the summertime. I make iced tea, I make lemonade, we make Arnold Palmer's, which is the iced tea and lemonade mixed together, if you've never heard of that. And we also have iced coffee. So I'm gonna be putting together a summer drink video pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. But I will link the Friesemer ice maker down below if you're interested in that. It is a great price compared to a lot of the other soft nugget um, ice makers out there on the market. So this is my root beer and I am pouring in some heavy cream. Give it a little stir. And let me tell you, this is a great sugar-free, low-carb treat. I love it. So that is the end of my video for tonight. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. And as always, God bless.